All right, all right. Hello, welcome to my storyboard presentation. I will be presenting a short scene from Murder on the Orient Express. This is a scene where Hercule Poirot refuses a case. Now, Mr. Poirot is sitting in the luncheon car enjoying some tea when two figures begin walking out of the car. The second figure sits at the empty space facing Poirot, catching him a bit off guard. The man idles for a moment. Hello, my name is Ratchet. Poirot was confused. Um... Hello. I think I have the pleasure of speaking to Mr. Hercule Poirot. Still confused? Uh, you have been well informed. In my country, we come to the point quickly. Mr. Poirot, I want you to take on a job for me. Poirot stares at Ratchet, raising an eyebrow. I hope you understand that I am very limited. I undertake very few cases nowadays. Well, naturally, I understand that, but this, Mr. Poirot, means big money. Poirot stares in judgment, looking over Ratchet. Big money. Poirot just looks at Ratchet with a judgmental gaze and simply sighs. <sighs> what is it you wish for me to do, Mr. Ratchet? Mr. Poirot, I am a rich man. A very rich man. A man in that position has enemies. And I believe my life is being threatened. Now, I'm a man who could take pretty good care of himself. I don't think I'm the kind of man to be caught napping. But as I look at it, I might as well make assurance. But I fancy your skills as a detective, and your demand for my money, and remember, big money. Poirot continues to gaze at Ratchet, and nonchalantly moves his teacup out of the way. I'm afraid, monsieur, I cannot oblige you. Name your figure, then. Poirot chuckles a bit. You do not understand, monsieur. I have been very fortunate in my profession. I have been able to make enough money to satisfy my needs and my caprices. I take now only such cases that interest me. Ratchet is slightly scorned. You got pretty good nerve. 20,000. No. Well, if you're fishing for more, you ain't getting it. I know how much things are worth. I also, Mr. Ratchet. Then if you would oblige me. What's wrong with my proposition? Poirot stares one more time. He slowly gets up and says, Right, to Ratchet. If you would forgive me for being personnel, I do not like your face. Pro slides out of the scene and exits the luncheon car, and the scene ends.